Hello everybody! Welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hey guys, thanks for talking about Greg's Beer Reviews today. Look at this big bottle. Not as big as it used to be though. They used to do this beer in a big 750 milliliter bottle and I reviewed it several years ago guys. When it was in those great big wine size bottles. Now they realized they can put it in a 22 ounce bomber and charge just as much for it. Yeah, that's how they do it. That's exactly how they freaking do it. So now it's produced in a 22 ounce bomber so it'll be 20 uh, I should have a 750 milliliter bottle. Uh, technically the same beer, smaller package, same price. So and a lot of breweries do that. Once they figure out they've got something good going on there, they'll downsize it or change it from a six pack to a four pack or whatever they want to do and charge you just as much for the beer. That's how it works and you know, if the demand is there, that's what happens a lot of times. So. Uh, that being said, I don't know what vintage this particular one is or who sent this one to me, whether it was Rico or somebody. Uh, the bottle is sweating profusely now. I don't know what vintage this is. I have multiple variations, multiple years of this uh, bottle that I've been stuffing in the closet as I get them. Uh, so uh, we, will, we will look at a closer look because uh, Cigar City etches their stuff instead of doing some kind of ink and it's still just as bad as having black ink on a dark brown bottle. You can't see it when it's sweaty. So, we'll take a closer look and see what vintage this is. And like I said, I have multiple vintages of it. It's going to be a while before you see another version of this done. So I don't know what year this particular one is yet. So we'll take a closer look, like I said, when I come back from the final chug and see which one this is. Uh, and uh, we'll do this, we'll, vis we'll visit this again down the road uh, someday and, uh, and see how some of this stuff is soured. So, I, like I said, I don't know what vintage this is, and we'll take a closer look when I come back. Uh, commercial description on this says here, Russian Imperial Stout, dedicated to Gregory Zukov, uh, one of the World War II finest generals and a man bold enough to appreciate its rich, complex flavors of a beer brewed to fortify a body through the Russian winter. Like military geniuses, Russian Imperial Stouts reached their peak with a little age on them, so we released Marshal Zukov, Russian Imperial Stout, in a sweltering August so that it will be a peak flavor come January or February. A great candidate to sell her. That's what I do on most of the ones I get. Uh, opaque, black in color, the aroma has lots of espresso, chocolate, dark sweet toffee, hint of black strapped molasses. The flavor starts with unsweetened chocolate character and supporting notes of herbal dryness from English hop varieties. And then it moves to dark toffee sweetness, closes with a slap of roasted espresso. Zukov Imperial Stout pairs well with mushroom, salt, shoyanka, dark chocolate, cherries, and ground wars in Russia. Enjoy, comrade. So. I found this very tasty, guys. Uh, the only way that I think this could be better is put in bourbon barrels, and they made two versions of that. Uh, I have been to the brewery down in uh, Tampa, Cigar City, and uh, got a nice little operation there. They do, and they make some really tasty beers. And now uh, some of their beers, some, not all of them, are distributed here in Virginia. Finally, so uh, I have seen two different varieties: the High Bye and their their Cracker. Cracker beer, whatever it is. I wasn't a big fan of the cracker beer, but the high buy is very, very tasty. As a matter of fact, I've already bought a six pack of it since it started showing up here. Very tasty IPA. So let's see what this vintage is, and like I said, we'll look and see if I can determine what vintage this one is when we come back for the final chug. So that's all we need to talk about. So let's stop talking, get the cap off this thing, and start pouring. A little bit of hiss, not much, and not any smoke at all. Food Paragus is General Chocolate Dessert Digestive. Let's go down the center on this thing. 
Uh, last part of pint back in all tumbler snifter. Got my favorite snifter. It says can be solid for a long period of time, guys. And I would not disagree with that whatsoever. And down the center, we're going to look like we're going to get about a finger of head on that pour. A nice deep brown khaki color. Over to the light, I'm not getting any at all. It is pitch black. I found this a very tasty beer when I did it the last time. So, I don't expect anything different here. And like I said, the only thing I could say, if you wanted a bourbon barrel version of this, get a little jigger of bourbon and pour it out in your beer. That'll kick it up a notch or two. Or twelve. <laughs> Depending on how much you pour in there. To the nose we go. Rich roasted malt. Almost to the burnt characteristics. I am getting some of that uh, black strap molasses. A little bit of bittersweet chocolate. Not getting too much of the alcohol at, at 11%. So uh, this one is cellar particularly well. And I would think most of them probably will. It smells very good. Great final beer of the evening, which it is for me. And I've had this one for a while. Like I said, I'm not sure who exactly sent this one to me. Because uh, I'm pretty sure Rico has sent me some. And some other people have sent me some of this. And like I said, this is the 22 ounce bomber version. Not the 750 milliliter. I still have a 750 milliliter in the closet. One of the original versions. And it's, it's going to be in there for a while. It smells pretty good. Let's dive in. Cheers everybody. A little bit of alcohol on the taste. Very, very pleasant though. Very well made Russian Imperial South. The malt is, like I said, almost to the burnt characteristics. Black sap molasses, maybe hints of licorice. Big roasty notes on this. But there is some hints of the alcohol. I'm not going to lie to you. It's not burning or anything like that. But you can tell you're drinking a big beer. Very tasty. It is a very tasty beer. Very well made Russian Imperial South. And if you want the bourbon barrel aged version of this. Take your little jigger of bourbon and pour it in the glass there. That will kick it up. And you'll get those bourbon notes. And it will be lovely. I need to do that. I need to get me a good, a nice... Uh, a nice tasty, not a cheap bottle, but a nice tasty bottle of bourbon where I can do that on some of these beers and pour a little jigger in there, and especially if I'm not doing a review. I don't want to do that when I'm doing a review of the beer, but uh, something for a special occasion, and I'm going to kick it up a notch or 12 and throw a little bit of a, a very nice tasty bourbon in there. And, uh, oh yeah, that'd be good. That'd be real good. Well, let's ride out of the fridge. We're going to pour her a glass. We're going to sip on this for a while. Maybe fire up a stogie. And we'll come back and see where this one ends up. See if I think it's just as tasty as I did the last time I did it. And see if we can decipher what year, what vintage this one is. I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. Got this one left here. Looking at the bottle, they've got 08. 08. 081214. So this was done in August, put in the bottle on August 12th, 2014. So uh, here we are in October of 2017. Don't take a rocket science to figure that out. Three years in the bottle, 2014 edition. And like I said, they've been putting it in the 22 ounce bombers for a while now. Uh, they used to do the 750 milliliter bottles when they first started putting it in the bottles. But they realized, I mean, we got a good thing going on here, and we can charge just as much for a 22 as we did for a 750. And that's what they're doing. So, uh, a lot of breweries have figured that out too, uh, that they can charge just as much for a smaller quantity. So, very tasty beer, guys. Like I said, the only way I think this could be better is with bourbon barrel aged. And if you want that taste, throw you a jigger or some bourbon in there, and you'll kick it up a notch or 12. So, very tasty beer, guys. For what it is, it is an awesome beer. Now that it's warmed up, I am getting heavily roasted malt. 
molasses, hints of some dark fruit, bittersweet chocolate. Very well done beer. It is an awesome beer, guys. It's very, very tasty. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, this is an A beer, guys. It, it is. So, uh, uh, for a Russian Imperial Stout, yeah, I'm a, it doesn't say anything about being bourbon barrel aged or anything like that. It is a very, very tasty. It's a top notch uh, Russian Imperial Stout at 11%. Now that I've been sipping on it, it's come up to room temperature. I'm not getting any of that alcohol taste uh, on it. Very well done. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, this is an A beer, guys. Uh, and I am going to grade it accordingly. Uh, I'm going to give it a solid A, 95 right down the middle. You might say, oh my God, that's an A plus. That's the best version of Paris style. It is a very, very tasty version of Paris style. Not to say it's... Uh, less than what any other Russian Imperial Stout is. Uh, this is a great candidate for them to throw in a bourbon barrel for a while or if you want to kick it up that nice, like I said, throw some bourbon in it. Uh, that will kick it up to the, to the taste that you're after if you're a bourbon fan like I am in the beers. I don't drink bourbon anymore. But it is a very, very tasty Russian Imperial Stout. I mean, probably in the top five list for a non-bourbon barrel aged beer. It is very, very tasty. It's very, very well done. So uh, I have to give the uh, kudos to thumbs up to the guys there at Cigar City. They got, they got a, a very nice product here. I will say that. Uh, and I'm not sure what they actually do a bourbon barrel age version of this, uh, but you can do your own version, like I said, by throwing a little bit of, of a nice quality bourbon in there and uh, kick it up that notch or twelve, whatever you desire. Maybe even two if you're a big, big, big bourbon fan, but uh, for a non-bourbon bourbon barrel aged beer, it's a very, very tasted Russian Imperial stuff. Very nice. Very, very nice. A great beer to share with some friends or close friends or family or the other half like I did. She loves this beer. It's a very, very tasty beer. For a non bourbon barrel aged beer, this is a top notch Russian Imperial style. Very nice sweetness on the back end. Very well done. I mean, without harping on and on and on about it, it's, it's a great beer, guys. It really is. Uh, it's a solid 8 for me, guys. That's what I'm going to give it. Uh, 95 right down the middle of the scale on the A scale. You say, oh my God, that's a 10 beer. I wouldn't argue with that. It is. For a non bourbon barrel aged beer, it is pretty freaking tasty. So, uh, Let's go over to Beer Advocate. Beer Advocate says 4.37. That's in their A scale also, guys. Uh, and over for our final check-in, Untapped has this at 4.25. Great numbers from those guys over there, too. That's in their A scale, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, very tasty beer, guys. If you can get your hands on this beer and you're into the Russian Imperial Stouts, this is a great one. Pick up and try. It drinks very good, fresh, and it sells very, very, very well. So, uh, and I have multiple vintages of this in the closet, and from the 750 uh, all the way down to the 22 ounce bottles of different years that have been sent to me uh, over time because I can't get them here until recently, and I haven't seen this particular version here yet. But I got a feeling it's going to come. Out. I don't know when they brewed this beer. Uh, what, what month of the year or whatever. Uh, a lot of the stouts are only brewed in the, in the fall winter time season when it's got snow on the ground around here. So uh, the 2017 or the 2018 depending on whether they do it at the end of the year or the beginning of the year as far as bottling it. Uh, we'll probably be coming out soon and it may show up here because we are getting some of the Cigar City beers here now in Virginia. This is part of Virginia anyway. So looking forward to that. So if you've had this one, this is the 2014 edition, uh, three years in the bottle now. Aged very, very well. Very tasty beer. So if you've had it, let me know what you think, guys. We'll meet again. Let's go see what's in the fridge.